Hello, so today is day two of the art challenge. Now, you've made your brushes, you've been practicing with your marks, but today I want you to do some drawing. So we're gonna do some drawing exercises. Think, oh my God, this is so scary. No, we're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna make some marks. And I'm gonna take you through a few warm up exercises to get you just relaxed and just having fun and putting a smile on your face. So I'm gonna set you a challenge, first of all, I want you to go and collect some things to draw. So you could get a pile of cups and saucers, a handful of cutlery. You could go and get some packets and tins and some bits and pieces out of the cupboard. You could get a whole pile of toys and just put them on the table. It's entirely up to you what you're going to draw. Don't worry and don't overthink, or oh, it's too complicated or it's too easy. Just go and grab some things to put in front of you to just start making some marks. I'll see you in a minute. Here's my collection of um, found things to draw. So um, I'm keeping it quite simple. So there's a couple of jugs, um, a glass and a couple of bottles of cheap aftershave that I've found. Um, and what I've done is I've set it on a bit of white paper. Um, I've opened a, um, one of my sketchbooks. And what I have done is actually, because a lot of the things are white and clear and things like that, you could, if that's the case for your case, what you could do is I've just um hung a little bits of paper behind it some colored paper it could be magazine paper it could be anything but it just adds a little bit of depth to your to your little grouping of things you might not need to do that but it does add a little bit of interest behind it and it makes things like the white jug stand out and the glass stand out against something like a bit of white paper so you can do that and have a little play. You don't need too many objects. If you look, I've only got five objects. You don't need much more than that, really. And we're just going to play at drawing those. I'll move on next and I'll show you um, what you need. And actually, I'll show you a little bit of what, what I had from yesterday. So I'll show you that. Let me show you what I did yesterday. So I carried on mark making, doing some rhythmical marks. I liked the black and tan working together. That worked well for me. Um, I started drawing with a feather on some that was already wet. So it's wet coffee. And then I drew the black on top of that. I like mixing the coffee and the black ink together. So I carried on with that. That looks quite interesting very scratchy so i was just playing around really um one of the brushes sort of disintegrated and that was one i thought would disintegrate which was the one with the dried um seaweed on it um so i'm going to substitute that one for the one with the sponge on the end but as i said you could have as many brushes as you want but that one's quite a nice one that works this one which had the like the little bits of dried um material on it i've added more little sticks to the end of that because that was uh, that worked quite nice that's quite solid now still going to use Use my feather my little stick that I squared off and the plastic which I cut with little zigzags on it as well today you can have as much paper as you want and um, I a little tip is don't use brand new clean paper this is just recycled paper in fact it was the paper that I had down on the table while I was working and then I've just cut it up into four pieces because it's far less daunting to actually make marks on something that's already got marks on it than a brand new piece of clean paper. So I'm gonna be making more drawings on top of these marked papers already. You can use some old envelopes as well to use for drawing, bits and pieces more with marks on here, all sorts of bits of paper that you can find lying around. You could use just your photocopy paper, but think about that tip. If you find a white, a complete white piece of paper, quite daunting to start making marks on, get some um, paper which has already got marks on or make your marks splash some um, some coffee over it and some ink let it dry and then use that again for your mark making also today you can have a biro or a permanent marker you need something that's going to once you've made a mark you can't rub it out so you're going to use that today as well so you'll need to go and find a pen or a biro or something to work with as well today um, again i'm going to be working either with black ink or black paint watered down or the coffee so i'm going to work with both today because i quite like the idea of the black and tan working together so i'm going to work with that um, and you'll need, obviously, if we're going to be working with those, you'll need like a, a jam jar or a glass of water just to clean your brushes out with. And just for dabbing out your brushes and mopping up any spillages, you might need some kitchen towel as well. OK, so really, we're ready to start actually doing some drawing. So um, let me put this away and let's get started. 
I'm all ready to go. I've got everything in front of me I need. The other thing which you need to have with you is a timer. So you could use a timer on your watch. You could use a timer on your phone. I'm using the timer on my iPad and I'm just going to do one minute intervals for each of these exercises. So let's get started. So first of all, we're using the hand that we always use, our, draw, our writing hand. For me, that's my right. It might be your left, but it's the one that you use most often. And I am going to do a sketch in one minute. So I'm going to really just look at my little grouping of um, objects and probably just pick on one to start with. To begin with, you'll be quite slow and actually, you know, it might not work out quite as well as you expected. So anyway, you just need to press the button, start the timer and off we go. So I'm going to draw the jug first of all. I'm going to try and get as much as the information in one minute of the jug um, on a piece of paper. So I'm just going to sort of see what the jug I'm going to do the jug. Oh. So I'm looking at the jug and trying to get as much as the information down as possible. I might try and do a little bit of lines which indicate a little bit of shading. I might try and get a little bit more of the maybe the glass in at the background over here. See what I can get in, see what else I can get. I mean, it's going fast. I can see there's only 17 seconds left. So again, it doesn't give you much time to sort of like think too hard. You just got to get the information down. All the sort of like the lines, any lines that you can get. And what we're doing while we're doing that, there we are, that's one minute gone. So what we're doing is trying to get a hand and eye coordination um, sort of start to warm up start to sequence so I've managed to get the jug in here I've got the glass and bits and pieces so let's do another one let's put that one to one side again everything that you do over this um art sort of challenge don't throw anything away because you're going to collage and do all bits and pieces with it later on so I'm gonna put that one to one side right the next one I'm going to do is I'm still going to use my right hand but I'm going to put the biro down and I'm going to use one of my brushes so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably use I think I use that one which is the sponge one I'm going to draw with both um, coffee and ink and I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at it again I'm going to set the um, the timer again for one minute but this time I'm going to look at the objects and I'm going to get as much down but I'm just using the, the little sponge and some inks and things like that so let's set the timer time is going so I need a bit of coffee right let's try the jug again let's try the jug Whoa. So, okay so I'm just lightly just going around the outline what I can see as the jug here I think I might try and have a go at putting the glass in let's see if I can get the I can get the glass in <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you draw one over the top of the other it really doesn't matter it's about observing and making marks and in fact sometimes some really nice things happen once things start to blur and merge together so it's quite nice I'm going to see if I can get that little jug in the foreground now let's see if I can just get that in it's not really going that well but it doesn't matter it's fine I'm not going to give up six seconds, five, four. Let's just do a little bit more here. There we are. Okay. So there's one. So I've just done that. That's just with some wet media and just trying to get the jug, the glass and things like that in position. But I'm going to rinse my little brush out. Right. Put that one down to one side. Let that dry. What should we do next? So the next one we're going to do is we're going to use our non-dominant hand. So that would be for me, that's my left. But if you're left-handed, you're going to use your right. You might be ambidextrous. You might be able to use both hands and that's really, really lucky. But so now if you've been using one hand, use the other and practice. Go back to the biro and set yourself one minute and just see what you can get with your left hand. So it's about, this is about observation and trying to control your pen, which this isn't going to be easy. So I'm going to go back to the jug again. Oh, it feels really, really strange. So, whoops, I just got to get, I'm trying to get straight side. It's very hard. Oh, look, it's not going straight at all. Right, there we go. Let's see if I can get the handle in, handle, whoops. And then go put that round. <laughs> it's gonna go everywhere okay oh actually actually that's i'm quite happy with that handle there that's not too bad at all okay uh the jug in the foreground let's see if i can get that uh, put that round there we are 
Oh, that's very strange. Ooh. Sort of running out of paper there. I could do some more paper and go off the, the page. I could actually, it wouldn't really matter if I wanted to. Right, that's that. Let's see if I can get that glass in up here again. Get the glass in, seven seconds left. I can see seven seconds left. Let's see if I can get the, the, the glass in. Let's go down. Oh gosh, that's really, really wobbly. <laughs> there you are, what have we got? Actually, that's not bad. I can see that I've got the jug here and I'm quite, actually, I quite like the way that handle went and I've got the glass in the background. So I've done that one. Okay, that's that exercise. The next one I'm going to get you to do, let's get a nice larger piece of paper, I think, is the next exercise is you're going to do this either blindfolded or with your eyes tightly shut or you can be looking the other way. So you're going to go back and you're going to look at your, your still life. You're going to look maybe at the... The things that you've been looking at before, which for me is the jug and the glass, and you're going to make sure that you're using your your dominant hand. So for me, that's my right hand. And I'm going to really it's probably best to start with the piece of paper and the pen and you're holding it down on there ready to get going because you might end up off the page. So have the, the pen and the paper ready to go and then press your timer. So I'm going to press my timer. I'm going to look away and then I'm going to see what turns out so I'm going to go back to where I was before I'm drawing the top of the jug I'm thinking and I honestly I am not looking at all so and you're probably seeing this video thinking oh god what are you doing so they are we got that I hopefully that was the handle I think I got most of the jug what I'm going to try and do is now do the glass so I've got the glass up here this is my glass this is what I think was probably the glass down the stem of the glass here um, I might, I, there is a, um, an aftershave bottle there or like a perfume bottle. So I'm going to try and just do that. Let's just see. Now, honestly, I am not looking. This is all just from memory. Let's see how the memories work. <laughs> I think that's the bottle. And then down here, I'm going to do my, oh, I'm going to try and do the jug at the bottom of the page. Let's just see. Let's see how that turns out. I'm going to go back. Hopefully this is the rim of that. I'm getting far more done, actually, now. The minute is... Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, that's not bad. Like, that is not... I can see there's a jug shape there. This handle, I sort of almost got that right there. Is as good as the one I did, needed before. The glass, I got the glass. This is the um, sort of the aftershave perfume bottle here. And then there's the jug down there. I honestly didn't open my eyes at all. I was looking completely away with my eyes shut. So I've got now, I've got a few drawings already started. Now, what I'd like you to do is I want you to carry on. I'm going to carry on and I'm going to use um, more of my brushes. Um, I'm going to maybe extend the time. So I'm going to give myself two minutes to do some of the exercises. So play around and just see what you can get done. Again, it doesn't matter when you've created a drawing like this and this that's with your eyes shut. You know, it's fine and it's really good fun. So it's about warming up. It's about and you'll be surprised how much more information you'll get down on the piece of paper in that time. Obviously, I'd say make get larger pieces of paper as you get more experience because you'll find that you'll want to come off the page otherwise so um have a go let's see where we get to once we've done a few more exercises so i've gone and played a little bit more into some of my drawings so this is my right hand one and this is i painted this with just that feather so i just painted the outline with a feather and then i've gone in with some more mark making afterwards um this is one of those ones which i just used the sponge with and then i've let it dry and i've just drawn round lines around it just to start bringing out some detail. This was left hand and I'm quite pleased with the way that one's turned out. So again, I've gone in, it was a left hand drawing and I've then gone back and I've used the sponge and coffee and ink and then just started just sort of working a little bit more into the drawing to just sort of like bring it to life again. This one was a, uh, again, I used the sponge drawing and then I've used my biro then to give a little bit more definition. You can carry on doing as much and as little as you want to, really. So have fun and um, hopefully you'll be ready then for the next challenge, which is going to be tomorrow. So that's the end of day two. Hopefully you've enjoyed your art challenge today. I just think it's really good fun. And so, um, you know, even those ones where we get, shut our eyes and we were drawing and to see what came out, it's nothing's right, nothing's wrong. It's just about enjoying being creative. So please 
put the thumbs up, like this video, please share this video. And if you want to support me carrying on doing free content, you can also go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Gary Mills Design and just pay and buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.